Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I have another new gameplay review for you. Well, it's really an updated gameplay review. I did a review of Dungeon Master uh, from Wombat probably almost a year ago now uh, during season one of the release. It's been such a long time since I really, really took a look at Wombat and a, a couple people that are in my Discord that reached out to me. And we've been talking back and forth uh, really talked me into jumping back in here and testing it out again. Um, I, I like, I really do like what I see for for the future of just Wombat in general. Um, I did do my top games or top projects to take a look out for, and Wombat in general was on that list. Uh, what we're going to focus on today is the Dungeon Master game. They also have a Dungeon World game that's coming up. Um, just to give you a picture of the whole whole group, um, what Wombat is, it's it's really a large uh, larger project than just the Dungeon Master. Most Mostly we hear about that. Uh, they have a platform on mobile app where you can go ahead and play other games uh, and earn Wombat tokens uh, and, and do a number of different things that are in the game. We won't focus on that. that. That's a video for another day. In addition, this one right here, Dungeon Dungeon Worlds, it <laughs> keeps jumping on me, uh, is one that's going to be coming out here this year um, which I think has a lot of potential, uh, which has me even more excited about the Dungeon Master because the Dungeon Master game is going to lead into the Dungeon Worlds. They're going to be connected as far as uh, your Wombats that you have and the, their, uh, the, some of the NFTs that you're going to earn within Dungeon Masters. So I wanted to go ahead and bring this one to you. Uh, focusing on this, uh, there's a lot more parts to it than there was in Season 1. We just kicked off Season 8, uh, so there's a lot of cool things that are here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and dive into it. We literally just kicked it off this morning. So so before I really jump into these videos, I want to do two things. These videos, uh, I'm going to do a series of them throughout Season 8. Really a, a new player perspective on Dungeon Master since I am new getting back into it. It's, like I said, it's really been a year since I looked into the project. Uh, so if you're an advanced player, you may not get as much out of these but i really really encourage you in the comments down below if you have any tips tricks things that you want to pass on to to beginners uh please leave them in the comments down below we'd love to hear from seasoned vets as far as dungeon masters go any tips that you have and i highly encourage you uh like i said i'll be a beginner jumping into this if you see me doing anything wrong or you have any recommendations for me to do something better please let me know. I'm happy to take the advice. I know there's a lot of people that are watching who will also be happy to take any advice that you have. All right, and then I got to throw out the disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial professional, so please do your own research before you jump into any games. Just because I'm doing a series on it for season eight does not mean that you should jump in there without really taking a look at it and make sure it's right for your situation. All right, now we got those out of the way. Let's talk about Dungeon Masters. Basically, what you are is you're a wombat that goes in and mines. Yes, it's a, a similar theme as far as a lot of games that are on wax or on play to earn in general. Uh, you're 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 basically mining. They add a lot of neat twists to it uh, that I think are going to really start building up until Dungeon World comes out. So let's go ahead and jump in there. This, I'll have a link in the description to DungeonWombat.app, uh, which is the game site that you see right here. That'll be in the description down below. Um, when you're here, there's a couple links on the top that I encourage you to take a look at. You got Dungeon World that you should take a look at, uh, earn NFTs on. Just some of these links. Learn more about uh, Dungeon Master. This is, if you give it a second, it's going to jump up here. It's going to ask me to authenticate. This is going to give you uh, a lot of details as far as the project goes. I'm not going to go through a lot of these, but I'm going to keep it up here because I may re refer to it a, a few times. So let's go ahead and jump back in here. Uh, I'll actually show you actual gameplay, um, actual switching things back and forth, uh, and talk a little bit more about this. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this. As you can see, I just finished a mission while we've been talking. So you just saw that pop up there. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on that. This is really the first screen that you're going to come to when you get in there. It's the mining. Like I said, it, it, the main focus on this is mining. But before you even go ahead in and start mining and doing any of the activities, I encourage you to check out the Wombat itself. I believe you do need at least uh, one out to get started. Um, let me jump back here one second. To get to what I just was showing you is down here in the left corner. You click on that. You can barely see it on my screen, but it's right down here. Click on that, and that's going to take you to your Wombat. You go ahead and equip them up. 
Each type of equipment has a number of different bonuses. If you click back over to that learn menu that I showed you and scroll down a little bit, uh, there, here shows you a number of different, like each of the sets. Uh, for example, the types of equipment, there's lights, there's digging tools, bags, and so forth. Each type of equipment has three different types of sets, technically four. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, but they have uh, different characteristics depending on the item that you select. And they all have uh, different rarities from common all the way up to mythic. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it actually calls out every single piece of equipment and it shows what their characteristics are, whether they're from level one all the way up to level five. Uh, for example, we'll talk about this table lamp right here, which is one of the items that I have. Uh, it's a legendary item. XP is the bonus. It's the benefit of having it on there. And depending on what level you have of it, it goes from 3.75 all the way up to 60. So if you are able to get these to level four and level five, they have a huge bonus. They're also expensive, so be aware that I don't see myself having even a level two anytime soon. Uh, but even the the level ones can be beneficial the higher rarity that they are. So this just gives you a list. Um, I'm not going to go through each of the different benefits. Uh, fr from a new person perspective, you may want to focus on XP. Uh, you may want to focus on items that have speed and contribution. Um, again, I'm still learning, so if anyone that's super experienced that's watching this, uh, let us know in the comments down below as a beginner or even as a more advanced player yourself, what should we focus on as far as the type of equipment and the benefits that we want from there? Obviously, the highest rarity, the better, depending on your situation. Uh, but do you do pick, for example, in tools, uh, digging tools, do you pick speed over uranium bonus? boost obviously it's depending on what you're going after but in general let us know so you go ahead and you stack up uh, put all the equipment on, on there there's a few other bonuses in here name tag just allows you to name your your wombat and then you have sidekicks down here sidekicks is a relatively new type of nft uh, sidekicks give you a boost to specific uh, specific collections so one it's a 20 percent boost towards specific <laughs> collections uh, not towards all of the collections that you have, and I'll get towards the collections here in a second, but I wanted to show you this. Something new with Season 8 is you now are allowed to have uh, a second slot for a second sidekick. Um, you do have to pay in Wombat to go ahead and do that. All right, let's jump back over to the main screen. And I'll sh oh, while we're here, I'm sorry. There, They do have a blending option uh, down here on the left side. You can't see it, but it's right over here. Uh, there's a small button that shows you uh, takes you over to this screen, which allows you to do different types of blending. Uh, we'll, we'll have another video that goes in way more, more depth with the blending, so we won't talk about that right now. Um, jumping back, let's let's go ahead in the bottom right. You have a number of icons that are similar on the main screen too. Uh, the same same icons down here. This first one is the well, which we'll get into in a second. I'm going to save that. Then you have uh, the the furrow NFTs. Um, you have the leaderboard, which is nice. Again, this season just started today, uh, but you can get uh, an idea as you go through the season, point, uh, point leaders and run leaders. Um, you also have uh, the one here, which is the clan. I'm not in a clan right now, so if there's any top 10 clans that want another person, uh, reach out to me. Let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to join a clan, uh, an active one, though. Uh, you have the shop here, which we won't dive into a ton of detail. We'll, we'll probably do a future video on uh, the shop, but that allows you the materials that you earn. You can go ahead and shop in there, and then any packs that you have. Right now, I have two that I earned, and I'll show you those here in a second. All right, the main screen. Now that you've equipped your Wombat, now what do you do next? Uh, the main thing I want to do, the nice thing that Wombat does, it allows you to stake NFTs from other games, whether it's a game that's active and and, and doing really well, or it's projects that aren't doing so well, uh, that you just have NFT stuck, you can't sell them, you can go ahead and stake them here for, for boosts. Uh, to do that, you have the middle section here. You see I have 30 NFTs that are called hidden, but they're actually uh, staked in here. Um, so you can what you can do is they, they give you different boosts depending on the materials, uh, and also boosts uh, to your overall mining production. To stake, you go in here and you go ahead and you select different NFTs that you want to stake. You'll see that this, for example, Wax of World, we have, uh, they give you a harvesting bonus boost for iron. 
You have uh, non-fungible drugs give you a boost on uranium um, and so forth as you go through here. And you got another one. I'm sorry, that, was, that wasn't that was uranium. I think that was coal. Yep, coal for non-fungible. And then at the top here, if, if I stake those that pack that you just saw that earned in game, I'll get a boost towards uranium. All right. And you can go ahead and stack up or stake up to 100 NFTs. They continue to give you boost for mining power and so forth. Uh, so it's a nice little boost that you can have in there. Then on the top section, the top middle here that you can see, um, you have the different materials that you're mining for. When I originally did the, the review on this back uh, about a year ago, the only thing that you could mine was iron. Now you can mine up to four different things. You have gold, iron, uranium, and coal. And each combination, you can go down to the shop down here and you can use and produce different things. You can uh, all the way up to keys that are going to be used here in the future, or you can use them to create different materials that will allow you to upgrade, whether it's equipment or packs or things like that. Then up here you have uh, VIP, which I'll do a full video on that because I think VIP is a nice little perk uh, just for staking some Wombat uh, token. So that gives you different boosts. So we'll go ahead and do a full other video on that. Uh, and then at the top here, you have the level. You can see I'm level five. Uh, I did play a little bit back uh, in the day. I think I got up to right around high level three, low level four, uh, and then earned about a level today as I was playing and prepping for this video. It's important, the higher level you are, the more impactful your mining power is. The lower level you are, there's, there's an equation, I forget it off the top of my head, but you are only getting using a fraction of this. So I have 10,517 mining power. I'm only using a teeny tiny fraction of it because I'm only level five. As you go up higher in level, you use more of a fraction of it and it continues to grow and grow and you're more efficient when you go in and mine. That's one of the, one of the things out there uh, that's it's important to go ahead and, and mine as, as, or I should say level up as quickly as possible, especially in the early stages. Over on the top right here, you've got a few things. You have the candy, which uh, every 24 hours it refreshes. It gives you a 10% boost of your harvesting and lasts two hours. You go ahead and quote unquote eat that. Two hours, you can run as many missions as possible during that time frame, and it gives you that little boost. Then you have every 24 hours, a treasure chest is opened up. Depending on your contributions into that treasure chest, uh, raises the, the chances you have at, at getting NFTs, getting packs. Uh, so it's, it's a neat little bonus that they have every 24 hours. Uh, the more you contribute, the higher chance. And you can have different, uh, different uh, benefits on your equipment that will um, really give you the option of getting possible multiple packs if you get a pack. Uh, so there's so some neat things that are going on. Um, you can see here, uh, barely you can see here, I have about 21,000 contrib uh, contributions towards the treasure. And the main reason for that is because of the season pass in the well. Um, all right, before we actually get to the missions, I do want to talk about the wells and the quests and the goals. Um, and then we'll go ahead and show you, uh, actually, actually, before we go, <laughs> let's take one step back. Um, before I show you the well, let me actually show you uh, how to run missions. Um, this is the, the main part of it. This is right now is a very click to earn type, but with all the other activities, it does make it very interesting. That's why I'm showing you the video and not passing on it because I think there's a bigger picture here. Uh, this is just part of it. All right, so you can go ahead and select your duration. Standard wise or, or normal wise, if you don't go ahead and get the season VIP or a season pass, you'll have five minute, you have one hour, you have six hour, and you'll have one day are your durations. If you go ahead and get a season pass, which is available at the beginning of every season, um, and it connects with the VIP, it makes it cheaper for you, uh, you can go ahead and get the 15 and also the 15 minute, I should say, and the eight hour. Uh, which you see in there for me R right now, mostly because I'm by my computer. I run a lot of five minutes and I run a lot of 15 minutes and you can go ahead and click on each of those. And it's going to tell you exactly what you're going to earn, what you're going to contribute to that treasure chest that we talked about. And then your stamina, you have a, a max of 2000 stamina. Each time you run it, it consumes it a little bit of stamina. For example, this is going to consume five stamina to run this. And every 24 hours or every reset, you get 900 stamina back. So if you happen to manage to go ahead and spend all 2,000 stamina in one day, keep in mind you're only going to get 900 back at the end of the day. All right, so be aware of that. 
All right, so what you can see is if I do one, you have a, a higher X. So, so it actually benefits you to do five minute and 15 minute and the lower duration uh, quests or missions or digging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, runs, they call run, start the run. <laughs> um, then to do a one day. But you, it's less clicking if you go ahead and do the one day. It just it, I can see that making sense for a lot of people. Um, what I'm going to do for the example here is I'm going to go ahead and run a five-minute mission. We'll talk about another thing, let them run, and I'll show you the results at the end of it. Uh, so it's going to give me a 7.8x towards the contributions and the rewards that I'm going to get out of this. All right, let's go ahead and click on run. And you just wait one second, and you can see he's running down here. You can, it has a timer on here. Shows you where you contribute, which is added up to here on the treasure chest. And at the end of it, you'll be rewarded your resources that you mine. While that's running, let's go ahead and talk about the well. With the well, the well of wealth uh, allows you to get extra bonuses as you're going through the uh, the season. Um, you could it, the left side here is free. If you go ahead and just run without the VIP, you'll have access to everything on the left as you're going through. If you go ahead and get the season pass, which can range from roughly at the time of this recording between 300 and 500 wax uh, for the season, uh, you can get a whole bunch of extra bonuses that are great, plus the other things that I showed you already. Uh, and the reason I mentioned the a range between 300 and 500 is because they, they, they have a couple different price brackets. Um, if you're a VIP from staking, which I'll do a whole other video on, uh, it's a cheaper, you get the, the cheapest one. If you don't have any of those VIP or any other benefits, you, you'll pay for the more expensive one or get off on the secondary market, depending on what the market value is for it. So what you can do is once you have this on here or you don't have to have the season pass at all, you click on this little box that, or check mark that's up here and it's going to show you a number of different types of quests that you can run. Every time you run a quest, it gives you a, a meter, a basically a, a meter equivalent reward. This is two meters, one meter, 10 meters, and so on. And that will just allow you to go ahead and uh, let this guy down uh, to different levels. For example, I'm all the way down to 87.5. So I'm down to here. Um, and once I go ahead and get to 90, I'll be able to open another contribution. And the, the reason my contributions are so high for today already is because I was able to use some of these, some of these uh, boosts that I got from the season pass. You go through, they have different types. I'm going to do a whole other video on the quests and achievements uh, because there's a lot of them. And the way it works is, is interesting. You have to complete one to open up some more. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do a, a whole video on that one. But basically, every time you run something, you have the chance of, of uh, completing one of these achievements. That's why there's a little bit of a strategic side to this. For example, uh, right now I need two more runs in order to get this one, which adds two meters to it. Uh, I need 10 15-minute runs, so it makes sense for me uh, after this video to go ahead and do five more of the 15-minute runs so I can complete this achievement. So there's a, it, there is a bit of a strategy. It's a little more than just a click to earn. All right, so we are going to go ahead and wait till this one ends. Uh, a few more small things to talk about, but this is the game right now. Um, there, there's going to be the, the dungeon world, which takes this and really develops in it into a larger game where there's ownership. You can go ahead and buy land right now. Uh, the Genesis land, the first tier of land is available for sale. Um, and, and the game itself will be available here, I think, mid to late uh, 2023. They're developing it. You can earn NFTs through the treasure that are going to be used in that dungeon world uh, for different characters. At least that's the way I, I read it in the, the Medium articles. Um, but again, I'll go ahead and do a whole video on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to when this time's complete and I'll show you the actual rewards coming into it. All right, we are just finishing up and we received our rewards. As you can see here, uh, we did get 39 XP, which increased up here on my level, getting closer to level six. And uh, the resources that I also received, and I got 43.376 towards contributions that will help me uh, possibly get some NFTs uh, at the end of the day. So go ahead and click on this and I can go ahead and run another quest. As I mentioned, uh, I need five more 15 minute dungeon runs. 
uh, in order to complete that one achievement. So we're going to go ahead and click on that 15. It's going to give me 91.758 towards my contributions. These rewards, it's going to cost me 12 stamina. So let's go ahead and run that. Um, that's about it. This the, the gameplay basics. Like I said, I'm going to do more videos throughout the season as I learn more um, different parts of it, like the, the quest or the achievements. We'll do a fo focus on that. We'll do one on the equipment. Uh, this, again, this is all geared towards beginners that are looking to join or jump on to Dungeon Masters. Um, I, I highly encourage anyone that's experienced, that's experienced vet that's been through a number of seasons. Let me know in the comments down below what am I doing wrong. Obviously, I think from my perspective, the focus should be on getting the best equipment that you can. Uh, early stages, XP, speed, contributions are things that I'm focusing on if possible. Uh, also trying to build up and level up. Um, I, I'd like to get as high a level as quickly as possible so I can use more of this mining power and really become more efficient. Overall, I think uh, the game has improved considerably over the last year. Uh, they have a lot more elements to it. I'm super curious and uh, interested in the dungeon world that's going to be coming out there. Um, so I'm hoping that this is something that you're interested in. Uh, I'll continue to make videos. Go ahead and comment down below. Are you in Dungeon Masters? Uh, how are you doing? Are you a vet? Have you been there for a number of seasons? Are you a newbie like myself? Um, and, and provide any tips that you may have. I'll be happy to listen to them and maybe incorporate them into future videos. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.